What is up, everybody? I'm Crypto at the Dip, though, and that is exactly where I like to buy. So today we're going to be talking about airdrops. What the flying are they? How do I participate? What is an airdrop? Is it drops of air? No. It is when people do things and yeah, I'm going to get into it. So airdrops can be very lucrative in the crypto space. If you don't know what they are, stick around. I'm going to tell you what they are, who you can follow on Twitter for more information because I follow a couple of people that drop amazing information about airdrops. They give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to participate in them. It really is easy. If Even if you don't know about crypto, I'm pretty sure a monkey can look at this and read the direction. So stick around. And just wait, because this can be a very lucrative video for you and for everybody else that watches, okay? So if you aren't new here, my channel is focused on self-growth stocks, entertainment, crypto. So if that sounds good to you, flick that subscribe button, join the Dipto gang, and let's continue before we waste any more time. Okay, so what is an airdrop, okay? This is what everybody wants to know. It's what's on everybody's mind, okay? <clears throat> so... A cryptocurrency airdrop is a marketing strategy that involves sending free coins or tokens to wallet addresses of active members of that blockchain and that community, okay? So in exchange for a small service. So what do they mean by that? They want you to use their blockchain. So let's just say a blockchain is coming out and it is called Trump's hair. I don't know, I couldn't think of anything better. So Trump's hair blockchain now, they will reward you for using their blockchain. Now, what does that entail? That's going to be something as simple as buying coins, sending them to a wallet. Depends on what blockchain it is. Now, let's say Trump's hair has a wallet called Trump's wig. Now, you go and you send coins to Trump's wig and you will exchange coins on Trump's wig. Now, this is volume. The more times you do this, the more volume you show up in your account. So for example, if I send $100 into my wallet, right, of Solana, and now I swap the Solana for USDC, that's gonna show up as $100 worth of volume. You know, so you can keep doing this and this is gonna count as raising, raised volume. So the more volume you use as a person on a blockchain, the higher your chance of getting a higher reward. Now you can't just sit there and keep swapping shit. Like, come on, people aren't stupid. You know, so you got to do it like two or three times a day, but try to make it look like realistic, you know, swap a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars worth of Solana. Now come back in two hours, swap $50 of Solana for USDC and just keep doing swaps. Now you have activity on that blockchain and your wallet has a digital address that is specific to you. So now when people go to look at your address and they see all your activity, they reward you, okay? People aren't physically looking. This is all done with smart contracts and whatnot. But the more activity you have on a blockchain, the higher chance that you get a higher reward when that airdrop comes. So an airdrop is basically a company that wants to get their product out there. So they give you an incentive. The incentive is for you to keep using their blockchain, you know, maybe post statuses about it, share about it. Now, this is going to be an incentive and it's going to make you more money in return because you're using their blockchain. You're talking about their blockchain. You're getting the word out. So then you receive an airdrop. Picture a parachute. You know, it drops down in the army and it's got a gift on it. It's just getting airdropped straight into your wallet. That what That is what an airdrop is. Okay, so yeah, for example, so... In exchange for a small service such as retweeting a post sent by the company issuing the currency, the ultimate goal of a crypto airdrop is to promote awareness and circulation of a new token or coin. Okay, so blockchain-based projects use airdrops to popularize new cryptocurrencies or NFTs and boost platform publicity. Airdrops are often associated with the launch of a new cryptocurrency or a DeFi protocol, okay? So with that being said, there is somebody I wanna show you. So we'll just go right over to Twitter. Now, this is a person that I follow. His name is OX Hunter. I would 100% recommend this guy. This guy is a fucking beast. He really is a beast. Like if you go on here, he posts airdrops all the time. And I've been recently doing one for Jupiter. 
If you aren't familiar with what Jupiter is, I'll pull it up right here for you guys real quick. So this is Jupiter, right? Sitting around 55 cents with a market cap of $747 million. Not bad. Almost hit that one billy, Killy. All right. And this is on Solana. So there is a lot of Solana airdrops coming. What is very huge now too in the news and in the crypto space is the Cosmos ecosystem. So, you know, there's a lot of hype around that. So I highly recommend you go back and you follow this guy right here, OX Hunter, okay? This guy is constantly dropping gems. He really is. And I think I'm on the wrong page because this guy only has 82 followers. So let me make sure I'm... <coughs> Make sure I'm on the right dude because that'd be bad. No, that's that's him. <laughs> I didn't realize he had, he only had 82 followers. All right, so if you scroll down, you can see <clears throat> all the information that he has. Right? I missed DYM. I missed ALT, but I am not going to miss Milkita. And if you don't want to miss out, follow the thread. So what do you do? You click the thread. Now, this guy's going to tell you everything you need to possibly do to get airdrops, okay? So you need a Kepler wallet and some Tia on Celestia chain. Now, if you're confused, keep reading. He explains about the Kepler wallet and how to deposit Tia in the below thread. So what you would do is, is you would click this and just follow the directions. Listen, if you get confused, reach out to somebody. Reach out to me. I'll try and help you. But I will tell you this right now. Jupiter already had their first round of airdrops, but they're doing it in rounds. So if you do the simple strategy that I am doing, we have a great chance of earning a high airdrop. Like we might make a lot of money off of this, okay? So follow these directions and do what I am doing. You don't have to do it in the specific way that I'm doing it, but just do it in the, in the way that I, I'm kind of doing it so you get the gist. And then you will be good and airdrops will be good. And you will have a you will have a wallet where you can do airdrops for Solana. So what you're going to do first is if you don't have this wallet already, I need you to download the Phantom Wallet. Now, if you use MetaMask, if you use any of that garbage, stop. Just stop it. Phantom Wallet is absolutely fucking incredible. I'm talking two second transactions, if that. Like there is no issues. Uh, you got to click twice to buy an NFT. It is just absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at their user interface, right? And the best part is, is that you can download this for Brave. I don't know if you could tell, but I have the Brave extension right here in the top right corner, okay? So this is the crypto wallet that'll take you places, your trusted companion, okay? I mean, look at the user interface. It's so sleek, simple, mighty. Look at that, fun, beautiful, fast, one each cent, boom, just like that. I mean, keep everything in one place. So you also got to keep in mind, it's multi-chains, one wallet. You don't have to switch, okay? Very easy. You can personalize your name. You can put a picture. Simple, deposit, buy, send. You have Ethereum, Solana. It's there. It's so simple to read. Seamlessly access the largest NFT marketplaces. Showcase your NFT collection. Monitor activity with transaction history, notifications. It shows you everything within this app. You know, no limits on tokens, balances, or transactions. If you go even further, you have powerful tools made for everyone. So you can do more with your NFTs. You can pin them, you can hide them, you can burn them, and you can list them. You know how you get those spam airdrops into your into your wallet? Yeah, burn that bitch. You can burn it. You can swap tokens super fast and at low fees. And I'm talking like fractions of a penny. Picture doing this on Ethereum. This is why I hate Ethereum. If you go to do anything on Ethereum, you need a thousand dollars. And 500 of that is going to swaps. I swap four times a day on Solana and I do not surpass 25 cents. Just think about that. And then you'll see why Solana is superior to Ethereum. You know, it's just, it's just no comparison. So with this, you can store, stake, and earn rewards with your tokens. You can sell NFTs in just two clicks. Like, I, I really don't know why I didn't move over to this wallet a long time ago. So it's controlled by you, secured by us. So this is another great thing, right? Self-custodial means you control your funds. We never have access. That means they don't have access. Not your keys, not your crypto, okay? Private by design. You don't need to put your name, email, or phone number required. None of that bullshit. Another thing that they have, which is dope, is scam detection flags malicious transactions instantly. So like, you see this? Phantom believes this website is unsafe to use. Only connect to this website you trust. Very cool. Very fucking cool. 
And I know this is huge for a lot of people. You can connect your ledger to keep your crypto even safer. And they have a 24 seven staff standing by. They got global support team 24 seven, okay? And I'm not sponsored by anything in any way. I just tell you guys and girls what you need to do and what needs to be done. Like, listen, always, <clears throat> if you learned anything from my channel and other people always do your own research, but you know that I'm, I'm out here dropping honest gems and facts. And I'm just giving you all the good shit. Okay. Listen, it's trusted by more than 3 million people. So they got some game. They got some, uh, soul in the game i don't know how the saying goes but you know what i'm saying so download phantom you can download it for brave that's the wallet you're going to want to have okay next you're going to want to send i, I sent a hundred dollars of solana to the wallet now what i did was is when you go into the solana wallet you're going to see jupiter use the jupiter aggregator and swap from solana to jupe and just keep swapping just make sure you keep using the aggregator and this is going to increase the volume. So if I have $100 right here and I swap $100 of Solana for Jupe, that's $100 worth of volume. Okay, now I take $50 worth of Jupe and I switch it back to Solana. Okay, so now it's showing I have $150 worth of volume. So on and so forth. You know, you can get it to like $700 in volume a day. You keep doing that. You keep doing that. You keep doing that. Who knows? You might get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars airdropped into your wallet just for doing something so simple. You know, so you're going to want to download this. I'm telling you right now it is a great wallet to have. You're going to want to go on Twitter. You're going to want to follow. I'm so fucking tired. Uh, I, got, I work construction. I don't know if anybody knows this. My work truck isn't working. I had to commute. I'm exhausted. But that doesn't matter. Okay. So that's basically what an airdrop is. It's a company that wants to get their token out there. They want you to do and use their blockchain like swaps, use perpetual, <coughs> perpetual things. You know, basically just swap, buy an NFT, do this, do that. If you go to this guy's Twitter and you follow the steps, you have a huge, not huge, you have a chance, okay? It's not like this is like a casino. If you just do what he says and other people on Twitter, you have a massive chance in getting airdropped, okay? So like, there's really nothing else more for you to do. Download the Phantom Wallet, you know, load it up with some Solana, swap on the Jupe aggregator, and follow this guy. There are many other people you can follow, okay? So this is the time to get in because a lot of people are airdrop farming. So it's just gonna get harder and harder, you know? People and companies might start taking different alternatives once they realize like, you know, people are just doing this for free money. So if you get in now, do your research and start looking into the Cosmos ecosystem because that is a huge one. Look into Solana because you can use the Phantom Wallet. It is quick, it is fast, it is private, it is convenient. And it is hands down one of the best wallets out there, okay? Another thing you can look into is Kepler. So I would highly recommend doing that. And this was just a quick guide about what airdrops are. <clears throat> I really hope this was informative to, any, to everybody. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. If you like videos like this, subscribe, join the Dipto gang, and you have a great fucking day because you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're resilient, you're strong, and you're just fucking amazing. Peace. Sure.